arrived here to Corner Bay. It's overcast day, it's spring, so amazing weather over here. It'll go from sunny to squall, wind, even snow, and then right back to sun. So that's my old barge right there that my dad and I built. Oh, a bit over a decade ago now, 12 years ago. And we finally, my dad purchased beautiful new aluminum pontoons to build a new barge. And I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you right now. Oh, it's a nice day over here. <sighs> Good girl, Maggie. Well, Maggie's first season logging with me. It's her second day. Oh, I love the golden retriever. She's really a sweet dog. She's doing great. So that makes me happy. Wow, this thing's beautiful. So this is our new barge that we were building. My dad's getting the jump on it while I was out of town. So I didn't get to do the video of the framing, but that's okay. So it's an aluminum pontoon barge and he's got the aluminum cross members bolted on now. And these are the first of the deck planks going on. And these are yellow cedar cut from our mill. Two and a half by two and a half by five and a half yellow cedar. So we're gonna bolt those down we're gonna deck the barge with Sitka spruce. Oh, it looks great, huh? Gosh. Yeesh. That has the coolest thing we own besides the sailboat. Man, very cool. These uh, pontoons are absolutely beautiful. Super heavy duty, double plated in the bows. Uh, nice shape to them. So this thing is gonna greatly enhance our ability to uh, deliver materials and oh. okay. all right well, let's see how this thing's running <laughs> see if she starts up so this is a, a little electric UTV that we've got over here I actually have not been super impressed with this thing but I had a friend in Florida and he said that he just loved his so Oh, looks like my dad might have taken the key. Here at Corner Bay, behind me I've got our F750 dump truck. This has been a really funny machine for us because it's one of our newer and nicer trucks. It's got super low mileage, no rust, it's beautiful. Um, it's had more issues than any vehicle we own, I can't believe it. We've replaced all kinds of stuff, the turbo, the entire computer, just on and on and on, fifteen thousand dollars in parts in this thing. So last year I finally fixed it. I got everything in there running great. Well, this year it started up. My dad said it's having issues, and then now it's not running. So let's see what happens here. So my dad started the truck, used it the other day, said it had no power, just wouldn't rev up. It's got a beautiful Cummins diesel in it. I came over here, started it up, turned the key, started right up, ran perfect, warmed it up, thought I'd drain the fuel filter. And when I drained the fuel filter, got some air in the line, killed the engine, and it wouldn't restart. <laughs> it's supposed to be auto priming, so let's see. I think it's going to start right up. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Oh. I 
And the batteries are even low. Huh. Son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, let's... We'll get it set up to charge it up and try it again. <laughs> I can't believe the dump truck. It's got brand new batteries. Started right up. Oh, man. Well, we'll come back to that with the charger and get her current. Oh, okay. So here's the Kenworth with a nice, beautiful load of second growth Sitka spruce on it. It's not a huge load, but very nice. This was our load from last year. Really nice logs. All our second growth are about this same size. Pretty uniform, but getting bigger. So let's go ahead and uh, start this truck up and see how we do today. So we take the battery cables off this truck every day because first year we had it, we didn't take them off. And we got a call from these hunters that were over here at Corner Bay and said the truck was on fire. And they put it out and saved our truck. It was great. Um, we had to replace some wires and some air hoses and stuff, but it was okay. So happy those guys saved us. The truck came from John Day, Oregon. It's really been a wonderful machine. Oh, she's an old girl. I've read that, uh, you know, a lot of guys are young operators are finding that rebuilding these old Kenworths that were their dads is a better option than buying new. So that's pretty cool. So I'd love to someday like really get this thing real prettied up and restored. Honestly, it doesn't really need that much work right now. It's running great. So. Here we go. The old Kenworth starts up today. There we go. All right. That was more like it. She just started right up, no issue. So we'll just let that warm up. Let it warm up for a little while and then we'll uh, unload these logs. So we're gonna unload the logs over here, get the truck out of the way, and then we'll go ahead and uh, start bucking up the logs. Starts up. Kenworth is probably about warmed up, so that's good. Oh, started to make some progress. <laughs> well, that log on top right there and the one in front are the two old growth logs that I'm going to mill to deck our pontoon bar. So we're going to be decking that thing in about a week, 10 days, when my dad gets back from Mexico. So if you'd like to come along with us to uh, finish building that aluminum pontoon barge, launch it, go deliver our first loads of lumber with it. Uh, please remember to click on the like and subscribe buttons that are below this video. I'm grabbing my keys for the dump truck now. And we'll go see if this thing's gonna start up.
a couple picks here. The unloading is fairly straightforward. Kind of repetitive, so go ahead and show it to you. pretty easy compared to loading up. You just pick it up, there's a heel boom that holds one end of the butt, and you pick the log up, bring it on over. Logging. It's your second day. So. Okay, last log. Uh, truck here. Come on, Maggie, keep going. All right, unloaded. Now it's time for some sawmilling. Okay, so now we got to back the truck up to close up the reach and connect to the trailer.
got the truck unloaded, trailer hooked up, we got the truck parked. So next step is get the forklift. We start picking up these logs, bucking the logs to length, moving them over to the mobile dimension circular sawmill. I'm super excited for this round of milling. I've got an A-frame cabin to mill, six cabin sheds, and the entire deck of our barn. So I've got some really fun milling ahead. If you'd like to come with me this week and see how the mill works and see just how beautiful the lumber is that comes out of these wonderful Sitka spruce trees, please remember to click on the like and subscribe buttons below this video. Thanks for watching. Good girl, log dog. She loves it. You're a good girl. All right, yeah, pretty nice timber. Hook. Now let's see how we're doing. Okay. This is our Case 686G telehandler forklift. This does most of the hard labor around the sawmills here. Second growth homes. No problem. We got a bad got a hydraulic handle that's wearing out, so I'll have to try to take that apart and see if I can replace that valve pretty soon. It's still working, but it's kind of lipping along. Okay, so take a look in here and what I want to do is just replace this hydraulic valve, but for some reason. This exact part on these K686G machines is really rare, so I haven't been able to find one, which is super surprised to me, but whatever. So I found a couple of valves that I think will work that are not a case valve, it's just a from a hydraulic valve company. So I need to look in there and see what connections they are on that valve and make sure that it's gonna work here. So This looks really promising. So, this is so cool. There's the Vickers parts number, made in England. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident with those part numbers, I'm gonna be able to get the right valves. It's awesome. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you know, it's a Vickers part, right? So it's not case. So we should be able to find that valve. It's probably on hundreds of different machines. And then if I get the exact one, this thing's already got the adapters to make it work with the case hoses. So that's great. Super great news. I'm on my way home on the Jenny for the day and there's a, a big pot of orca whales right here. Let's see if I can get a film of them. Graveyard Island, the Tennessee Harbor behind it, and a whole bunch of orcas. Man, they just came up right next to 